what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been a while since i sat down and talked to you guys and i feel so bad about it <laughs> but i just wanted to come and give a quick update on my lasik so i know i know do not click off this video because you're like this girl is coming back without a home decor or home series video i know but your girl is busy so i haven't been doing as many projects but i have been working on some other home decor interior design type of things in the background that i'll talk about at the end so before getting into kind of just like how i'm feeling and everything i did want to talk about my computer glasses so i know clickbaity title no i'm not wearing prescription glasses don't need those these are like blue light computer glasses and i mentioned this in my first lasik video about wearing computer glasses that I would probably still wear them on a daily basis just because my job is very much like computer heavy. I don't wear these on a daily basis um, unless my eyes like feel really tired, but it's always good to protect your eyes. And I wanna protect these $3,600 eyes that I recreated. So these glasses specifically are from OcuShield. This is not a sponsored video, but they did send me these to review, but they sent me these clear glasses and they're so super cute because they still look stylish and what I like about them is although they're computer glasses it doesn't have a weird like film it's like a little bit of a yellow light um, or a yellow film but it's not overbearing let me know what y'all think about these then they also sent me um, this anti blue light screen protector so again something else just to protect your eyes so I specifically have the one and let me back this up I specifically have the one for my iMac you can't really tell that the screen is on there. It is sized perfectly for this MacBook. I will say though, it I struggled a little bit to put the screen protector on to my screen. I don't know if it was because I had a Mac or if it was the stickies or what, but I did struggle. So I ended up using the actual like semi-permanent stickies. I definitely like the glasses as an option because you can use those for your phone. They also have phone um, pri privacy screens and stuff like that too. But more of the story, even if you get LASIK, make sure you still protect your eyes with either computer glasses or a screen protector of some sort. So protect your eyes. Other updates. One of the major updates I wanted to give you guys was on this little red situation. So if you guys remember the bruise that I had right after surgery and then like a few days after surgery, it looked bad. From my vessels popped. Some people say it wasn't that bad, but basically my blood vessel popped. So it has gotten a lot better. Today is exactly one month um, or four weeks since I got my LASIK eye surgery and this is what it looks like now. So I'll show you guys. So definitely a lot better. I mean, like I said, this left eye, I have so many different dots and stuff in it as is, but a lot better. The top is basically completely healed for the most part. I still just have a little bit here. So, so much better. I don't look as scary. So yeah, that's kind of my main, um, Point I wanted to talk about is it's been four weeks and I still have my bruising some people it only lasted about two weeks for them but I feel like maybe I had like a severe case when I went to my two-week update the lady was like oh he knocked you good like he got you good and I was like that's not what I want to hear I want to hear you tell me it looks great it's getting better you're healing but now she was like yeah he got you good so that told me it was gonna be a while but she did say it'll get better week by week and it has been it's painless not a huge deal but I would say if you bruise easily which I didn't think I did but if you bruise easily or if you have you know a specific event come up that you don't want to like risk changing the appearance of your eye maybe schedule your LASIK eye surgery you know not around those times so that you have enough time to heal yeah I think I might be a one-off case with how long this has been other things so when I went to that appointment basically I had a two-week appointment to just check on my eyesight to make sure that um, the LASIK worked and that my flap had healed the flap that they create when you get LASIK that it was healing and everything looked good they checked my eyesight again and I was seeing at that 2015 except my left eye I think is still not as strong as my right eye when I was reading the letters off it wasn't as clear as when I saw it together so 
that was all good they let me know i didn't have to go back and see them basically ever again unless i wanted to get enhancements and then every year i can just continue to go to my optometrist or my eye doctor to get regular eye checkups just to make sure that the prescription is still you know working in my eye so all is good so far it's only been four weeks so i would hope that nothing bad is happening but you never know after that two weeks i was able to finally start getting water in my eye a little bit like in the shower i didn't have to like wear my goggles at night or anything i was basically free on that they did say to wait one additional week so after three weeks before swimming or anything like that i still have not swam i have not like put in my face actually in water like that i'm still being super careful just because i don't know i just don't want anything to go wrong so i'm still kind of being easy on myself i wore makeup for the first time two days ago um, that was my first time since the beginning of May. So I hadn't worn makeup with the LASIK eye surgery afterward because I wasn't allowed to for those first two weeks. And I think that was just because of having to like wash it off your face. You don't want mascara and stuff to get in your eye. So that was my first time wearing makeup and it was fine. It was my first time wearing makeup without glasses or contacts, which was crazy. My vision has been very clear and I am very pleased with my decision and I would 100% recommend it i would say the only downfall is that i do have dry eyes i feel like i had dry eye issues before getting lasik um and that was always something that i had to try to like treat on my own so it's not a huge deal but i will say that i am still continuing to use just prescript or not prescription preservative free eye drops just on an as need basis i don't have to use it every hour or every you know six times a day type of thing anymore um but i do try to wear it or use eye drops frequently just to keep my eyes lubricated so yeah um pretty much i am free now i have been released from the shackles of blurred vision but as far as caring for my eyes i'm still very gentle with them i try not to scrub or rub my eye too bad just because i just don't want anything bad to happen still wear sunglasses outside as much as i can not always but try to just because i do feel like i do have light sensitivity especially in the mornings when i let ava out like it just be so bright i'm just like i can't see anything don't look straight up in the sun obviously then like i said use my computer glasses again these ones are from aki shield and i really do like them um super simple um glasses and super stylish so yeah making sure that i wear computer glasses as I feel like I need them just to protect my eyes because even if my eyes don't feel like I need them I probably still should be wearing them um but yeah guys that's pretty much the update that's going on with me and my LASIK I say this all the time so sorry for being inconsistent I just have a lot of things going on and sometimes I don't feel like filming that's just the the realness of it and I want to make sure that when I come to you guys I am myself and I'm feeling good so yeah but make sure you check out my Etsy shop so I started an Etsy shop with printable wall art um, some shippable things like notebooks. I got some Father's Day gifting options on there that are personalized by myself or just some things that you can easily uh, print yourself and they're super affordable and cheap. I'm also trying to work on putting a interior design service, a virtual one, on my Etsy shop as a service. So as you guys know, whenever I do a room in my house, I virtually design it on Photoshop, but I am teaching myself how to do 3D modeling of rooms as well. So it makes it even more realistic and comes to life. So you can really see what that final outlook or that final product would look like. So if you're interested in having me help you design a room in your home, make sure you check out my Etsy, favorite my shop so that you see when I put those things up there and you know, we can work together but yeah you guys that's all i have for you today if you made it to this point comment down below a glasses emoji and also make sure to comment down below some ideas of videos that you guys want to see um regarding the home series home decor as a whole anything whatever you guys want to see comment down below and i'll try to do it so i can get some content kicking out for you guys but yeah until next time me and my laser eyes we'll see you guys later bye and my broken nail don't pay attention okay bye